comment down below let me know do y'all like seeing these detailing videos do y'all want to like the thing do y'all want to see the detailing side of things or y'all want to kind of see like the business side of things like the struggle the struggles of doing the business side of everything advertising finding customers and all that stuff or do y'all want to see more of the me just doing the cars uh, but comment down below. I know this is not the videos that everybody wants to see, but like I, I've said in a bunch of my videos is this YouTube channel is pretty much everything. Everything that's going on in my life, I tr I'm trying to share and I'm hoping that something will help somebody else. Like I said, if you're here for the G8, I got stuff that I have planned to do to it. Um, I have to install the, the oil catch can. Um, I also have to install the side splitter and all that stuff, which is somewhere in the corner over here. And then obviously, eventually we're gonna be doing the wheels. We gotta get that done and all that stuff is just, I'm just trying to get everything into motion. So until then, um, hopefully the next video will be a G8 video. The next clip you're gonna see is us creating a beer tumbler. So if y'all want that, link will be down below. Uh, you can hit me up or you can go just go on our website and grab it. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you watch the whole video and like, comment, subscribe. Here we go, right here. Uh, let me go ahead and take this out right quick. All right, so here we go, y'all. Um, this is gonna be the test chair. I'm gonna be making a video with this chair also for my detailing channel. Um, but what we gonna do with this chair is just, we gonna dirty this mug up. Like, I'm gonna literally go get in some mud Nah, I don't put no mud, but if we go dirty up, I'm gonna pour some coffee on it. Um, I'm gonna try to pour whatever on it. Definitely pour some coffee on it. Uh, let it sit for a while, whatever I can find. Let it sit for a while, and then I'm gonna try to clean it up, see if I can clean it up real good. And what I'm gonna do is tape off. I don't know what the hell, they, they try to put a patch on this thing. But mainly this part right here, we're gonna try to tape it off so you can see the difference between the two. And I think this is gonna make a pretty good video for my detailing, um, for my detailing business. And I mean, for y'all, for y'all, I mean, y'all get to see how good this thing works. And one thing I was thinking about on my way back was, one thing I really like is that this can be on, but not until you press this, it's not, it ain't on. Okay, this is, I guess, turns on remotely, which I really like. Now, one thing that I notice is that it doesn't have a brush or anything on the end of it, like those little small ones does, so you can kind of, this is for extraction pretty much only. So we gonna see how good it does. Maybe I can add a little brush to it or something, but we're gonna see. I, I, I love the fact that the hose is so long and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna get that prepped up, get that ready to go. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of carpet cleaner in it, not much, and then get my little spray bottle together. And we're gonna get to work, but first we're gonna start, we gonna, I got some coffee going, I'm about to dump it on here. All right, so here's some coffee. Right there, we're gonna pour that on there. Get that on there, right? We'll get this seat nice and dirty. That's the goal. Okay, so it's full of coffee now. 
Okay, so we got some Frank's Red Hot. And this is like, this is one of the best wing sauces I had. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Uh, not the best hot sauce, but best hot sauce is Louisiana hot sauce. So we got some of this red stuff right here. We gonna pour on there. Just kind of get in there. All right. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of take a towel. I'm gonna throw this towel away. Kind of work that in there. Work it in there. That hot sauce. The dog can't get a hold of that. Alright, so we'll be doing more things with this seed uh, until I throw it away. But what I just did was I did one side uh, just to kind of compare to make sure that it is pulling stuff out. And y'all, I put coffee and I poured some red hot on here. So it came out. Actually, this side I agitated. This side right here, I didn't even agitate. I just went straight to sucking it out. And it still pulled out a good bit of stuff, um, which is good. There's a couple of things I like and there's a couple of things I don't like. Um, the water coming out, I feel like isn't strong enough, but it isn't as the same with all the two that I have over here. Um, I wish that the water was a little stronger, but for what I pay for it, this is a good entry level. Um, if you want to do shampoos, extractions and stuff like that, this is a good entry level vacuum to get because you can use it for a actual vacuum and you can use it for this being that it got the hose with the water and all that stuff on it um and you can use it for carpets and everything they have they it has different attachments so for 200 dollars is what i paid for it this is not bad compared to something like the shop vac i have in my truck was 60 bucks and all i can do is I mean, I can I can't do what I'm doing with this one unless you build something. Um, it's just two hundred dollars. That's not bad. This is a good entry level, and I've, I filled it up all the way to the top. So I used almost a gallon. I got probably like a pint left, maybe, from doing all this, which isn't bad. And then what I the things that I'm gonna say the things that I love about it. The things that I love about it is that the hose is long. I don't have to keep um, holding it or anything. I just, all I have to do is concentrate with what I have in my hand. Well, another thing I love is that you have controls up here. I, I really like that. So if you want to vacuum, you just press it. You want to turn it off, you press that. You want to turn the water on. The water's on right now. I don't know if y'all can see that. You want to turn it off, you just press it. I really like that. Um, weirdly, it looks like you can add something onto here. I'm, I'm not sure, but... Um, I like that because that means I can just keep it on like it is and I don't have to go. I can turn it off and on as I'm working inside like the truck of the truck or car or something like that. I don't have to come to the actual machine to turn it on and off. I really like that feature. I like that the drain plug that it, that it holds up to eight gallons. So whatever I vacuumed out of here, it's still I don't have to worry about emptying. The only thing I'm gonna have to worry about is refilling the um, the actual tank. Um, like I said, the only thing I, I, one thing I hate about it is the, um, it does, um, so this part right here is to control like the suction. 
So if you're not paying attention, it's easy to um, to push this a little bit and it'll mess up, mess with the suction. But, and I don't like um, that it's not enough pressure for the water, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, it is better than what I had before. And it, it does a good job, I ain't gonna lie. It does a good job. Um, but that's all I can really think of right now. So I'm gonna play with it a little bit more and then I'm gonna end the video. All right, y'all. So this is like about a week and a half later from when I made the first part of this video. Um, I'm making, I'm actually editing the video as we speak. So I did use this on the detail and it came out pretty good. The only thing I noticed that I do wish that it had a brush on it. Like I said earlier in the video towards the end of the, uh, where it sucks up everything. Now, when I was doing that detail, I did notice like off the bat, the spots that I missed, I had to go back and hit. Um, that was, it was like super noticeable. Um, well, another thing I noticed that is a good thing is that the dry time was a lot quicker. Now, I don't know if it's because of the machine and that it has probably a better suction than the other machines that I was using, but, and then plus where I was detailing that was kinda in the, um, was not kinda, it was in the country and I had all the doors open. So, but I know by the time that I left, I did the seats last because of how dusty and stuff the truck was. And by the time I left, the seats were damn near dry. So that was a good thing. Um, that was a good thing that I noticed. Now, I need to, I haven't done another detail with it since then. Uh, one thing I did notice that it was the, the, the one thing I did notice is that the generator that I have was struggling a little bit with this. Now, I don't know because I did put some gas in it and I also noticed with that generator, if you don't do the proper mixture, of gas with the two cycle oil and gas that sometimes the generator starts acting a little funny. So I have to go pick up some of that stuff tomorrow and I'll put, put I'm gonna pour some in the generator and then I'm gonna obviously mix it and everything. I gotta go and mix it, a uh, gas tank full of it. Hopefully that'll help the generator out, but it was acting a little weird. And in my honest opinion, if you, I would recommend you use this as an entry level extractor and it works just as good as the two small ones I have and it would take probably less time than those two. It's just a lot more like the hose is longer. I don't have to come and keep coming to the machine. I can press it on the, on the little, I can press it on the thing. Like there's just so much you benefit from. And this was $200. So I, later on, once I upgrade from another extractor is gonna be the top notch extractor with heat and all that good stuff but that's later on there's a lot of things i need to upgrade first before i get to that but that being the end to this video thank you for watching and i hope you have a, had a good day